Let's make some soup. We have a red onion, carrot, we have some coconut milk, we have some browned tofu cutlet. You may have seen me use this. I like to use it as bacon, um, vegan bacon. Um, this is the first time I have it in the packet. I just wanted you to see the packet it comes in because I usually don't have it in the packet. So that's what that is. We have some homemade veggie broth. We have a gnocchi mushroom that has been rinsed and uh, patted dry. This is the one mushroom that you want to definitely rinse. You can't just pat it dry with a damp paper towel, as you can see. Yeah, no way we're gonna be able to do that. Um, so you rinse it, as you clean it, then you squeeze it and squeeze out the excess water and pat it dry. We have some itsy bitsy baby bok choy that we'll be using as well. Alright, let's get our veggies prepped. So I'll probably use about a half an onion. It's just up to you how much you want in your soup. And that's what I'm going by. So I'm thinking to have an onion. We'll see what it looks like once I cut it up. And I'm going for soup size, which means they'll be a little bit more chunky than a dice. Or at least that's soup size for me. You know, it's your preference. If you need them smaller, Cut them small. I want to taste my onion. I'm thinking half of the onion should be fine. And probably half of the carrot. Now let's see how we want to dice this bad boy up. Try to be fancy. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me be. <laughs> but I don't want them too big because I don't want them to take too long or too thick. I don't want them to take too long to cook. So keep that in mind. Which means I may be cutting more of this carrot. I think I want more. That's our carrot for our milky mushroom. We'll just be cutting off the base. I'm going to leave them long so they can resemble noodles, but they won't be noodles. They will be mushrooms. As you can see, this is what the milky mushroom are fine strangly pieces so I'm gonna leave those whole to look like noodles and just break them up at the base if they're sticking together pull them apart need to do that or cut it higher you may need to cut it higher all right so we'll do that and we're just going to dice up our tofu all right and you just dice it however you like let me see how we're gonna do this one it 
This tofu has a meaty texture. I think I might use all of this. This is our protein. All right. And that is our veggie prep. Let's get it. We have our onions sauteing. Just have about a tablespoon of grape seed oil. Tofu. And this tofu is pre cooked. bit more color on our tofu. Now I want to add some spices just to get then toast it up and I have some garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, paprika, and some fennel seeds. And of course it will be listed in the description. This is just the start. Once we get everything combined and add everything, we may need to add more seasonings. Let's get our carrots in there. And 
that's however much you like. This container holds about eight cups. Nice pot of soup we will have here. Bring this to a boil. Take long at all. We'll basically be waiting for our carrots and bok choy to become tender. Let's taste. I'm gonna taste my broth. See what we're looking like. Mmm. Taste that pepper. But we need we need some more probably a teaspoon of everything teaspoon of garlic powder onion powder and salt that's what we're missing. A little bit more salt. All right. Let's see what we're working, working with now. And I forgot to add my minced garlic. So, so I'm gonna add some minced garlic. Forgot to add my minced garlic. I'm going to do a tablespoon of minced garlic. <coughs> Ooh. Bless me. Tablespoon of minced garlic. homemade veggie broth is so dark because of the red onions so that's what you'll get with the red onions we'll see what it looks like once we add that coconut milk to it all right let's see Yes, much better on that flavor. We're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna add our bok choy and mushrooms. And our gnocchi mushroom. gonna be good this is gonna be right and our bok choy let's get our greens in there our 
these are pre prep I have cut them in half so it would usually come like this but I have having them cut them in half and we're gonna put as much as you like So just remember, this is a soup. You don't have to have so much of everything. Just a little of everything for making a nice, well-rounded soup. That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real good. I can tell. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. Gonna put a little bit more of that in there. <laughs> So we're going to bring this to a boil and then we are going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes or just enough time to get our bok choy and carrots tender. All right, we have come to a boil. Just going to take it down and simmer for 20 minutes. It's like a medium low. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Alexa, stop. And that's our 20 minutes on our soup. Just make sure our veggies are tender. And that's just the carrots and the bok choy, and I'm sure they're more than tender after 20 minutes. Probably could have stopped it earlier. Let's see, carrots. Yes, everything is tender. We're just gonna turn these off. Add our coconut milk and we're done. Just make sure the flavor is still on point after adding the coconut milk. Cause I wanted it to be creamy. Give it a little creaminess. I love that coconut milk. It is so thick. My favorite brand. Give it a taste. It looks exactly the way I want it to look. Now let me see what we're tasting like. Let's see. Let's see. Don't need to add anything. Mm -hmm. That is good. some black pepper or should I add some white pepper hmm black pepper 
white pepper, black pepper. Let's do some white pepper. Where's the white pepper? So we got a white pepper. Let's give it a pinch of white pepper. Mm, that's good. Do I want to hit it with some sesame oil? Mm. Let's hit it with a little bit of sesame oil. A little bit of sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil. Just a little. Just like that. That's it. Just a little drip. Little drip drop, a little drip drop. That's it. That's done. It's a done deal. Give it a taste. That's it. That's it right there. That is it. This is what we're looking like. Tofu, mushroom, bok choy, carrots. Oh, yeah. Let's get this thing bold. It's about to be good. And we got that thing bold. And we're just gonna hit it with some black sesame seeds. Get a little bit of garnish. A little bit of garnish. All right, let's get in there. Let's get us some pitches. And this is what we're looking like. It's looking mighty scrumptious to me. What you say? What do you say? Very nice, very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's get it tasted. All right, so let's get this tasted. Uh, the broth is definitely delicious. Mm, that's good. Okay. We got. Let's get a little bit of everything. We got our enoki mushroom. Get some bok choy on there. A carrot, tofu, <laughs> Ooh. all the flavors, Get all the flavors. That milky mushroom looking like noodles. Get some of that broth. Right. 
Mm. And that was a spoonful. Mm, that's good. Is a you already know sauces. Mm-hmm. 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 